Hi everyone, welcome to Training. Start the montage. <laughs> LA City, that's where we are. Come to LA. Maybe it's La. <laughs> Probably means La City. <laughs> Let's go check it out. The parrot says, put waste in the right place. What is the parrot talking? <laughs> put waste in the right place. Put waste in the right place. <laughs> I'll stop now. Well, it looks like LA City does actually have a McDonald's. And, and, I'll show you in a second. A winner's hyper. It has everything. So there's actually parking outside for a thousand cars. You've got some great mountain views. Good morning. That is a winner's hyper. And if you're wondering what the music is, there's a band in there. So we'll go have a look at it. But they actually have a winner's hyper. What on earth is that? I think it's jazz. It's jazz. Yes, it's jazz. Brian's not a big fan of jazz. Nah. Okay, now you can even even better see the mountain. Haha. <laughs> 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 361 behind me. But they have these gardens in between. So you have some shops and then you have some gardens. That's pretty cool. Uh, loads of shops, loads and loads of shops. And sitting out here amongst the, the more conventional shops are I suppose street food, it's a snack yeah. hut on a street, and this is technically a street. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It is, it's kind of like a, it's like a whole town. <laughs> Have a look at this. This is like a, 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 a thing, you've got to climb across stuff and walk across bridges and... An obstacle course. It looks awesome. I really like it. Spider web. <laughs> <laughs> I want to film someone actually doing this. Me too. <laughs> oh, uh. oh, it's only for five to ten year olds. Oh. Don't worry. They have all the fun and all the cool clothes. Tacos, fried chicken, kebab. This is the urban food and they do tacos. Have a look in here. It actually looks really it's pretty cool. I think we actually saw one of these at uh, Kyopi, but it didn't look as good as this one. This is artisanal coffee, but I'm just going to take you inside. I mean, look at how awesome they've made this place, but look at this. They got, okay, you can't actually see, all you can see is me. This is what I was trying to show you earlier. Oh, that is so cute. That is so, so cute. And the cameras and things on that side. Oh, that looks like an old coffee, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Oh, here we go. There we go. That looks perfect. Wow. Wherever you look, they've got these shops, and it's like there's Art World, Out of Africa, Barter, One Eye. <laughs> But there are tons of these little shops all in this and they're all looking like they're doing really well. Uh, business is booming, let's just say. Let me show you some of the, the stuff that they've got here. That looks like trumpets. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and this is all the band. Okay, you actually might actually be playing something in a second. Oh, that's cool. This is the winner's hopper and they're actually just playing outside it. But I wonder what a hopper is. Have a look at the size of this building. <laughs> it's massive. I don't know, it's about two kilometers down that way. I'm gonna get a golf cart to see if I can't actually go shopping here. Yeah, that's how big it is. It's a hopper, it's a women's hopper. It is huge. Yeah, it is really big. bakery section but look you can actually see through the window at all the stuff that they're cooking look at the size of that bread loaf that's how they make the, those other breads I'll show you these crustless ones yeah <laughs> that's where they do all the mixing wow 
a lot more choice on the marinated chicken things and on the crumb chickens and of course a massive fresh fish section oh and they got unicorn fish yes you don't often see this actual fresh octopus normally it's frozen baby octopus yeah, for salad yeah. you put that in sa okay yeah, octopus boil. salad you need to boil it okay wow so it really is a hop of winners <laughs> even more marinated things wow you just bring the fire just bring that look look I, 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 you, you're looking of course you are but wow you know They actually do have fresh cow's milk here for 31 rupees a half litre. That is a good veg section. Yeah. Have a look down there, there's tons of stuff. And that's why it's a hopper, because it has loads of stuff. Loads and loads of checkouts. This is the winner's hopper behind me. I showed you inside there. But it actually used to be the shop right and Unfortunately, it burnt down and the person who was negligent in that was actually killed, which is a bit of a shame. The ShopRite actually had the biggest single day turnover in the history of Mauritius. At the moment, they've got a bit of a drought for swimming school. So if you want to do a swimming school, come down here. Well, I suppose it's a bit late now. <laughs> Another Mapu tree. Welcome to Food City. Oh man, if you're hungry, don't come in here. This place has everything. US Philly steak, KFC panorama, Le Petit, Fresh, Subway. There are so many, we'll go, we'll go and see, we'll go and explore all of them. What beautiful birthday cakes. But there's more. We're at Ogu, Ogu. And look at all these pastries. But wait, Ogu has more. Ha 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 ha, cool. Look at these cute little creme brulees and little mini cakes. And adorable. And little upper cakes. Yum, yum, yum. Yes, Philly steak. And look at them, they look pretty awesome. And you get custom fries. Wow. What is that? Express tar? Express tar. You got a massive walk. Whoa. -ho. Char time. Whoa. Yes, yeah, Philly cheesesteak and Ricky said. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you can't actually see how small they are. Maybe you're going to have to get one of the little smooses. Oh, definitely. It's so cute. <laughs> so this is a smoosa. So if you're on diet, you can just eat one of those. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. It's so small, it's so cute. But little things just make you so happy. <laughs> okay, finish your smoosa. No, don't finish it. Wait. So there is a KFC, but it's not like it's bigger than any of the other shops. We haven't even been down to the other side where they've got things like Curry Express. No, we haven't even been to the other side. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unboxing our cheesy fries. <laughs> the biggest ever box. <laughs> And look oh, at that! Really? Whoa! Look at those! Oh. Hot and oh, they're really hot. They're really, really hot. Oh, there's a lot of cheese on that. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, too soon. <laughs> good. Wow, those fries were surprisingly good fries. Cheese sauce is nice as well, but the fries are really good. Yes, yeah. really cheese steak. Get them here. Crispy hot. Mm. Like your bowl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they've got everything in this place. Panoradis, the KFC was there. 
dim sum and sushi but wow say that three times fast curry express and pablo's we don't mess with the rooster <laughs> have a look at all of these oh. hi i'm just getting some video of it wow they look so great eh? this is the sushi this is actually curry express and look they've got all the curries out here and the sides wow this is so pretty so you can buy rooster yeah. or oh, they don't mess with their rooster so therefore they're cooking the chicken maybe it's actually done a kebab and i suppose you can get all the look at that look at the size of those kebabs i suppose <laughs> okay, <laughs> good. <laughs> Look at this lemon taste, Mauritian and Indian cuisine, and they actually serve things normally when you can sit down, like a tali or a seven curries, and you can get it on a banana leaf and everything. Amazing. So before I forget, the guy from the lemon and lime place said, when things open and you're allowed to sit down, obviously only on Fridays they do their traditional seven curries. I think he said it was 250 rupees or 220 rupees or something like that. Whole full banana leaf experience, got to do that Fridays. It is a little tricky to see because of the sun being bad on it, but this is crushed metal. It's kind of trendy area. <laughs> At normal times, there would be great chairs and things here. It's a pity, it's a pity. Oh, they actually, <laughs> we went across the yellow tape. <laughs> this looks like they're set up for the bullet. Two words, uh -huh. never too late. <laughs> to taste something new. Sidewalk, check. <laughs> so far I've been well impressed by LA City. <laughs> I mean, look at the great sidewalks. I mean, they're really easy to walk around. Uh, so far, no buses have tried to run me over. Uh, they've got great street food there and here. And, uh, well, the only, the only thing is, you know, the, the jazz. Not a big jazz fan, unfortunately. But other than that, this has been a great village. LA City, it's a city. It's actually a city. It's been quite a nice city. I'll probably not get another chance. Have a look at this chain. It's there. It's attached to the ground there. Now, you can see there are quite a few along here of these chains. And what they do is they hold the roof down so it doesn't float away. <laughs> I don't know. Even pedestrian crossings. <laughs> Winners Harper walking away from it for the montage. But check it out. LA City. I could live here. Yeah, I think I could live here. Me too. Great city. Great city. This is what LA City needs more. Hi. <laughs> Really stylized people. <laughs> Supermodels. Stop it. <laughs> good, good. Well, mission. mission. Good well, mission. Yeah, good it's concrete. Huh. So, this is the Trianon Corval which not exactly sure when it was built but the sugar estate as you can just see the chimney behind is from 1803 so it must be pretty old getting b-roll of ricky getting a roll in the building Pretty great, I just love that tree. That is such a fantastic tree. Across the way there, there used to be a bridge. It used to be a pedestrian bridge and a tram bridge. I'll see if I can't get a better view from, from the other angle. But over here is the actual weir. But you can actually go down these stones a little bit. Whoa. They're quite big, they're actually quite big. We can see they're quite big. So that I can show you the stone structure over here. Rivers do tend to just keep going. In fact, I think this one goes all the way past Camp Damask. Across the way here is the ship, is a margarine uh, factory. And they're actually looking after 
the tree and then chimney. So if I had done what I was supposed to do and uh, <laughs> get permission to go and have a look, we would have been allowed in, but right now we're not because I forgot. So it looks like there's going to be a spiritual park down here. They're just busy building it at the moment. That's something to look forward to on the beautiful Teal River. Okay, this is the Trianon Tower. I'm going to zoom you guys in four times. And there we are. It's a pity about the no sun on it. And it's a little yucca plantation. You can see there are quite a few of them actually. Yeah. Oh man, I'm going to go back. <laughs> Maybe you can mention why the river is so important. So the, the main barracks and where everyone would have stayed is just behind me. And then there's the Koval and then there's the sugar mill. So everyone would have had to cross this river to get to work every day. Wow, it's not all the time you can get flowers in a sugar chimney. Just gonna have to eh, eh, remove that thing. <laughs> This is a fantastic little area. As you can see they're growing, I think they're called yuccas. I can't actually remember, but they're growing those plants. And they made these beautiful little ponds for it. And they actually have a piece of irrigation running through it. They also have their pumpkins. But I'm just going to carefully walk through because we don't want to damage their, their stuff. But we are right at the weir. As you can see, oh! Look at how beautiful the weir is. I didn't even see it before. Huh. Hopefully we can get it a little bit lighter in there. Wow. Hey, that is a beautifully built weir. Okay, back to me. They've got these channels and they're actually growing plants here. And it's helping to irrigate these ones as well. What a fantastic little piece of... Let's just say homemade engineering. That's great. That's really great. This is quite pretty. Actually at the right angle with the sky, it does look teal. Did you see me from down there? Another view of the stonework here. Wow, what a great weir. Look up there, it's Ricky through the greenery. <laughs> Let's see if we can get the yellow flower like she always does to, to us. We got some yellow flowers. We got a Ricky. Let's see if we can't get a yellow flower Ricky moment. A little bit, yeah, that's it, that's it. A little bit closer to the flowers. Who do I focus on? Let me focus on Ricky. There we go. How beautiful is that? <laughs> okay. This is actually a new piece of wall actually being made out of the stone. And it's right next to where the old bridge used to be. That's the skilled artisan getting the rocks in exactly the right place so they fit perfectly. So this is the Trianon Laborers Barracks. Actually a national heritage site. You can't see it great from this view but unfortunately the gate is locked. It is a pity that we actually can't get in because this is actually quite a fascinating structure. It, uh, oh, there's a car. So as you enter, there's a really informative sign that tells you everything you could possibly want to know about the laborers' quarters. And it's even got an old map of how the whole uh, sugar mill area used to be. What a stroke of luck. The guys just let us in so we can actually come and see. Have a look at this. Look at this. Oh. You can actually see inside. Well, I don't know. This was probably a window. And the door is probably on the... Maybe it's got two doors. Through flow. I'll show you in better detail. I'm just so excited. Wow. Wow. This is the original laborers' quarters. quarters. And uh, a lot of the laborers didn't actually like the stone ones. Just look how many there are. There are loads of them. And uh, it has been very beautifully restored and it is protected by law it's a national monument as you can see so they do have the national monument plaque there so it is protected by law now on the other side i believe they made a kitchen a modern kitchen 
But this was still in use in 1960. They were still using this. But wow, how lucky did we get that he actually let us in. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you inside. We're going inside. Oh, look at this, look. It's actually a lot cooler in here. I can see why people would worry about the dam because it is a lot cooler. But it's really nice actually. Wow, and the domed roof. Okay, they, they've, they've replastered it because it was dangerous. So now it has been replastered. There's a little puppy outside there barking, but we'll come around from the other side. I mean, how awesome, they actually just so people lived here. They actually lived in here. There would have been a separate area where there was cooking done and they ate. So this yeah. was mostly for sleeping. Outside the back. I'll show you that side in a minute. But wow, how awesome is this? Is this for one person? Is it for a family? Were there lots family. of people in here? For a family. So a whole family could live in here. Family. Walking through. Wow. Oh. Is this for cooking? Uh, cooking. For cooking. 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 So this is where they did cooking. Yeah. Okay, there cooking. you go. Oh, sure. So this was like the kitchen. Yeah. The kitchen. Back, the back compartments had kitchens. I assume the guys in the front shared. But these are all the kitchens. You can see this is where he would come out. And this is his kitchen. Wow. Wow. That's a really impressive building behind. Wow. And these places were very, very damp, particularly in winter and cold, because look at the thickness of the wall. That wall is, mm, <laughs> it's really thick. So you can imagine it got quite cold. See, the guy who's here just pointed out that these things actually have natural air conditioners in them. Yeah. Because of the top, the air can flow out and then the stone is nice and cool. Yeah. Wow, so it would have kept... Cold in winter. So cold in winter, but, <laughs> but in summer at least you kept cool. So they've put the numbers on so that they can put, the put them back in the yeah. same place. The same place. Mm -hmm. That's great. So they were, lived, people lived here and all over this area because like nearly 1,500 people lived here, not just here. So you can see inside this one that and there was probably a divide here. They probably had some sort of divider. What do you think? Yes, yes, look. They actually had a divider. And of course our good friend, the yellow wasp. Uh -huh. Let's stay clear of him. Maybe. So, did they have a divider here? Maybe. maybe. It looks like maybe. What, maybe, what, maybe uh, something between. So that's one and this is another one. Mm -hmm. Maybe like if they were bachelors. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bed and living room. Bed and yeah. It's actually quite pretty. Oh, oh wow. How awesome is that? I don't know if you guys are going to go to see it. There we go. Look at that. Out that window. That is picture perfect. Ah. See if we can't get her. Okay, you're going to have to come out because <laughs> I can't actually see you because there's no light on you. But there, look at how short it is. Ricky can't even stand fully up in it. I just can. So she can just stand in the doorway. Mm -hmm. So these were designed for Ricky. Mm -hmm. Welcome Perfect. to your new home, Rick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the only one actually surviving. They, they were built in 1810. They started building these and they actually stopped building them in 1850 because they were unhygienic, but this one, it was actually used till 1960. 1960. Wow. And it is, it is quite amazing. And everyone who actually stayed in here actually preferred the, the thatch houses, the thatch wood and mud houses. But the sugarcane owners kept building these until about 1850. And this one remains. So this looks more like the, oh, let me get you in there. This looks more like the original floor. It's been dug up a bit, but you can actually see here where it would have been stone. It wouldn't have been that nice concrete that we saw in the other ones. 
But you can see the stones, they are not, they're not very even and they're not well cut. So you'd have had to have a nice straw bed or maybe they put straw on. And maybe that is the, the threshold where they stop the thresh from going up. Wow, and that's a, a much narrower window. So some news just in, thank you. <laughs> this, the army came in. And maybe that's why those windows were increased because while well, soldiers like a bit more air than what uh, sugarcane farmers thought they needed. So the army came in and they fixed it up a bit, made the windows slightly better. And those rooms are, they actually feel a lot better than these rooms here. Not, 1960 not really. people had to come back and stay here because of Cyclone Carol. Oh, they so people stayed. People as temporary housing that came and stayed here. The, 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 uh, artillery? Yes. Okay, artillery. Oh, okay, like an arsenal, so they would keep their guns store, and things. Like yes. Okay, this I would be a great I did store. Read that it was called a magazine. Okay, so it was actually a magazine where they would have kept like their their bombs and guns yeah. and things. Yeah. But yeah, there's the barracks and the corvo. Yes. Because there were 1,500 workers here. Yeah. So, so there were lots of these. I think there was one there and one there or one somewhere. And even else. more people who just lived. In the thatch. Yeah. yeah. This, this is like this stuff. All okay. this, all this stuff. So this whole field would have been full of barracks. What's really, really good news is that they're preserving it. And that's fantastic. And it, it's going to last here forever. But I, as I was walking here, I just noticed mm, this is actually a stone way. road. That people would have walked to work. So they would have walked along this, this road from, from their, their, uh, their house and gone out there to the sugarcane or, or gone to pray at the Corval. Wow. Walking away from it for the montage. Walking away from the awesome laborers camp for the montage. <laughs> Ricky walking to work at the margarine factory. I mean, I mean the sugar mill. <laughs> wow. How lucky did we get with those barracks? Awesome. Anyway, Trianon. Wow, who knew? Such history, such interesting things, and all that food. Wow. <laughs> and if, well, we're going from here back to the food court, go get something more to eat. So, anyway, everyone, thanks for watching. See you next time. Wow. Look at this awesome building <coughs> with its dog. <coughs> And then across there, it's the Olympic Park. It's got to be the Olympic Park with noisy dogs. <laughs> Maybe we're getting the Olympics. <laughs> Maybe we're getting the Olympics. <laughs> Maybe we're getting the Olympics. Looks like it. What else could it be? Must be. <laughs> This sugar tower, sugar mill tower, <laughs> is actually Bagatel. The actual Bagatel sugar mill. We're nowhere near Bagatel. We're actually at the Bagatel dam. So this is the real Bagatel tower. Don't let the guys at Bagatel Mall tell you different. This guy was built in 1847. 1847. 1847. And it actually, there was a fire here in 1940 and it was never annexed. So unannexed. Sugar mill. How awesome is that? And according to my Google Translate, bagatelle means trifle. Trifle. So I, I don't know if that's the pudding or it's a trifle. It's a trifle or a uh, pudding. <laughs> you know, no, not a, a, it's a, it's a trifle small. It's a, you know. <laughs> right, there we are. But it looks like it was quite a nice sugar estate. It does look quite nice. I mean, look at the sugar cane next to it, if that's any indicator. And great stone walls. And, well... A nice enough chimney. Yeah, I'm like cautiously approaching because there's a little security office and I don't want someone to come and no, you can't take pictures. But there's not actually anyone here. Yeah. It's completely abandoned. Yeah, short little detour. Now we see if we can go find Cote d'Or, Gold Coast. Wait, wait, ah. Just down the road. <laughs> yeah, like dung from a goat or something. Oh, okay, like goat pellets. Yeah. But it's fruit. Cote d'Or. Cote d'Or. Gold. Golden Coast. Gold Coast. Yeah. Treasure buried somewhere. That's Cote d'Or. Wow, we know we're near a coast. No, we really aren't. <laughs> we, we're literally almost in the middle of the island. But 1850, that guy was built. 
I actually wish I could get closer because it is a round one. It does look like the stone has been cut round. It does look in quite pretty good condition as well. Looks in really good condition. I'm going to walk down a little bit, see if there isn't another way through. Anyway, it was annexed. But we don't know when because Ricky didn't bother to go look it up. No, because it's a bonus. <laughs> in 600 meters at the roundabout, take the third exit and stay on Terre Rouge Verde and Triannan Link Road. Terre Rouge Verde and Triannan Link Road. <laughs> in 600 meters at the roundabout, yeah, take yeah. the Terre Rouge Verde and Triannan Link Road. Exit the roundabout and continue on the Terre Rouge Verdan Trianon Link Road. Ah, she does it better than I do. Uh. <laughs>